At present, the California almond industry requires 1.6 million hives of honeybees to pollinate 760,000 acres of almonds. Nearly 1.2 million of those colonies come from outside the state. That's over 2,600 truckloads of bees that enter California from all over the country. In that journey, each of those trucks must pass through a border inspection station to be certain that it's free of invasive pests with damaged California's agriculture. This is done to protect $8 billion a year fruit, nut, seed, and fiber industry that thrives in California. Hi, I'm Gordon Wardell, Science Advisor to Project APSM. Together with the California Department of Food and Agriculture, we're preparing a series of best management practice videos on how to prepare your bees for almond pollination. In this installment, we're going to discuss how to prepare your bees for transportation to California and what to expect when you reach the border inspection stations. Many beekeepers ask, when a truck arrives at a border inspection station, what are border inspectors looking for? Basically anything that isn't a honeybee or from a honeybee colony, including many bee pests and a myriad of other hitchhikers. Anything found in a hive or on the deck of the truck that isn't a honeybee has to be identified. Insects unknown to the inspector or potentially serious pests will have to be photographed and the image will be sent electronically to Sacramento for identification. This can cause delays of a few minutes to several hours. It may seem excessive, but this is an important step to help protect California's agriculture. This is why it's important to get the load as clean as possible before heading to California. The most common problems that delay trucks at the border are small hive beetle larvae, hive beetle adults, fire ants, other miscellaneous ants, and mud on the pallets, just to name a few. Loads can be rejected for weeds stuck between the colonies or pallets, and other serious pests, such as cereal leaf beetle or gypsy moth egg masses, can cause a load to be rejected as well. The CDFA participates in a voluntary ant certification program in cooperation with several other states. These certificates must be issued by the state apiarist in the last state where the colonies were placed on the ground. Cleaning, inspection, and certification of the colonies must take place no more than seven days before the hives arrive in California. There are advantages to participating in the certification program. Certified shipments have a tolerance of up to five hitchhiking or rogue ants without being rejected at the border. Otherwise, this load would not be accepted into California and would have to be sent out of state for remedial sanitation. Certified shipments will be allowed to offload at the designation without waiting for clearance from the county ag commissioner if no ants are found or other pests were found at the border inspection station. The certification must take place in the state of origin no more than seven days before the colonies arrive in California. Before leaving their apiaries or outyards, colonies should be checked for any signs of ants or other pest infestations. This can only be done by careful inspection of the colonies, both inside and out. Washing the colonies and pallets together after they come out of the field is very difficult. It might be easier to transfer the colonies onto clean pressure washed pallets on heavy plastic or concrete surface. At this point, the state apiarist can do the inspection and issue the certificate. Ant certification inspection can be done either on the ground or on a truck trailer. In either case, the colonies must be accessible to the inspector. For inspection on the ground, a solid surface, either plastic or concrete, must extend at least 10 feet beyond the beekeeping equipment to qualify for state certification. Once the colonies are loaded and before the screens are stapled down, it might be advisable to give the truck bed a quick wash with pressurized hose or a quick cleaning with a leaf blower. This will remove any debris or insects that were knocked loose during the loading process. Remember. Time spent checking the load before departing can only improve your chances of getting through the border inspection without a hitch. Mud on pallets, weeds between colonies, or hitchhiking insects can cause serious delays at the border. Remember when selecting colonies to go to almond pollination, 
Equipment should be clean and in good condition. Equipment with rot can harbor ants and other pests. Look carefully for anything out of the ordinary. Bagworm casings, insect egg masses, or hibernating insects hiding between the colonies or under the lid cleats can cause problems. A leaf blower will do wonders to remove many of these insects and potential problems. Brush and remove all mud and plant matter from between the colonies and the pallets before leaving. Drivers should have the voluntary certification paperwork ready. Drivers must provide the exact physical address of the location where their colonies will be placed in California. P.O. boxes, range or township, or GPS coordinates are not acceptable. Plan to arrive at the border inspection station during the normal working hours, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. This is when pest IDs can be done more quickly in Sacramento. To avoid dehydration, consider pre-watering the load prior to arriving at the border inspection station. Most inspection stations are trying to make water available to drivers to wet their colonies if they're held up awaiting pest ID from Sacramento. For more information on the California border inspection standards, CDFA contact information, the Voluntary Ant Certification Program, and other related issues, please go to the Project APSM website at www.projectapsm.org.